hello friends today i'm going to show you how to implement the search filter for multiple objects in react applications while you are working with the grid or list view at the time you may need to implement the filter functionality on array of the object so in this video we will show you the step by step implementations first of all we will render an array with the static data after that we will update the minor design of the page and at last we will implement the search filters so let's start with an example here i have created the sample applications with the help of the create react app and uh, we will use these applications for demo purpose before starting the examples i'm just going to show you this is the one of the articles it's the same articles that we have written in the on our blog it's a clue media blog you can also find some other articles on different technologies at last like you will get the output of the demo applications and you can also find the source code of the demo applications on github repository if you want then you can play with the stack this project so let's start an examples here first of all i'm just going to clean up the code these all things are not required for the demo purpose so i'm just going to remove it from the applications also i need to remove it from the code let me remove it also these all things are not required now okay and yes i think this is good okay so first we will use the static data so i have the static data let me copy it and paste it over here if you can look into it see this is the one of the array where you will find the object and this object have a list of the attributes id name year color etc right so suppose now in this example we will apply the filters on all these attributes so first of all we will render this data on page so let me first try to render it on page simple i'm just going to design the simple page and render it an array so here we'll say class name is nothing but say box container inside the box container i just to render the data list dot map let's try to return the box typing in class name as a box also we need to say key is a i let's print the value name t dot name okay sorry same as we will also print this some of the values of one is yeah another one is color and the last one is time value let's say like it okay so i'm just going to update this name over here so yeah okay i think let's look into the applications maybe load it oh, yes now we can see the list is coming but let me just simply apply this style say style here i'm going to use the background color and that color will come from the list so yes this is coming like this good now we will update the design i mean let's write the css 
first of all let me say 20 pixel as a margin now the second thing is let's write the box container say margin 10 pixel 0 let's write box is width as a 300 pixels margin is a 10 pixels fading is 10 pixel also at the line height 55 pixels let's add the float left and add the border radius say 4 pixels and at last at the border border one pixel solid 999 okay i think this is good oh yeah let's add one more say clear both because we are using the plot lab so it's good to clear apply the clear both so just type in clear both now we add the clear both the class in the div at last after rendering the array. I think let's look into it. Yes, this is good. We can see the arrays, I mean, all the items is coming on page. Now let's type some things. I mean, let's update the our input field type equal to thanks placeholder type to search I think these two things is good now our next goal is to apply the filters right so before that first let's try to capture this information like whatever the input value that we will enter it so that information we will capture in the variable so for that we here i am going to use the hope search text and say you state this you state are auto imported so it automatically imported on top of the page initially we will provide the empty string let's say value as a search text okay second thing we need to define the handle change method handle change is required where we will say search, search text and assign the value so here we also say on change event e handle change and e event dot target dot value okay i think let's test it if i am typing something yes it's fine so now next step is to apply the filter so before that we need to use one more variable say data and this set data and use state here we will assign the initial value as a data list and try to use this variable in for the render purpose so now you can see everything is same but we will use this variable for the filter purpose in further use case so let's write the functions to filter the data filter data where we will pass the input value and use this input value for further use so first of all we will try to convert in the lower case value value dot to lower case and also apply the trend so at least we can avoid the unnecessary spacing issue 
so first condition if i don't have a lower case value or let's say if it's empty then we need to first set the data as a data list else we need to filter the record so filter data that we need to filter it from the data list and assign it in the data so i think yes here we have first written the uh, conditions to handle the empty value but the second part is still pending but let's test it for that we we need to call these functions from this method handle change right from the handle change function so here i'm going to write filter data and passing the value okay let's quickly test it at least we the first condition should work in our case i'm just typing yeah everything is coming as a empty because we are just entering into the second conditions when i'm going to remove it yes everything is coming back because we are in the first conditions so now let me try to add one more uh, use case say data dot length is zero then we will simply say no records found to display will found to display okay so let's test it yeah if this value is empty i mean the length is at zero then we will show this message yes so this is fine now only the case is like we need to apply the filter so to apply the filters first we will use the data list and use the filter functions right so here we will use the individual items to apply the filters and we need to apply that filters on each attribute like we need to apply that filters from the attributes value so we need to use one more functions called sum so here we will say object dot keys and get the list of the attribute so if you can look into it let me show you this part like it's a nothing but you can get the list of the keys this all keys id name year color in the array format now let's use the sum function where we will get the individual key and return and apply our logic and return the boolean value so we are just reading the value from the individual items and just try to stringify it then after doing the lower case and at last just check it like includes lowercase value if it's true then we can see the filter data in our on our screen let me say blue yes it's coming blue id is coming like i'm just typing 2001 yes it's coming let me type the color c7 yeah it's also coming so now this is working fine but let's add one more functionality say i just want to ignore this color column and in our case like let's say i just want to ignore the id and color so how can we do it so for that let me take one more variable say exclude column what i mean to say suppose if i am typing the value of the color i, I don't want to apply the filters 
because right now it's applied so for that i'm just going to take list of the columns for excluding purpose so here we will type the i mean attribute name to exclude it from the filter so after that just write a single conditions say exclude columns include key if it's there then return false otherwise apply our logic let's look into it now i'm just typing has okay we are not going to find any has from name year or pent on value so that's why it's empty so that means we successfully exclude color attribute from the list let me remove it from static list and try to filter it again has 98 yeah so this is coming so i think that's it for today's video i hope you like it i guess we cover all the things related to the filter functionality so please like share and subscribe us for more videos thank you